Hey guys, today we'll do a little bit of a change of pace. Instead of hardware news, which kind of upsets me since everything's out of stock, I figured we'd talk about Elden Ring and the leaks that actually have surfaced recently. Okay, I know, I'm showing gameplay footage from Hades, which is actually a really good game. You guys ought to check it out if you haven't already. But the only reason for that is we don't know a lot about Elden Ring. All we have is one trailer from E3 2019. But recently we've had some leaks that might shed light on Elden Ring and what we can expect and maybe even when it might come out. I'll also give my opinion on what I think is going on and when we might see the game. But before we get into that, don't forget to do the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at this point in the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe for future Axio GT content. Okay, as I said earlier, all we know about Elden Ring is actually from this trailer that you're seeing here. And after the trailer came out, nothing, nada, it all went dark. Even the Elden Ring Twitter page hasn't had anything posted since June 2019. So just to bring everybody up to speed, Elden Ring began development in 2017, following the DLC of Dark Souls 3, and is a dark fantasy action role-playing game, being developed by From Software and published by Bandai Namco. And the world building and backstory is made by none other than George R.R. R. Martin, the fantasy novelist also known for Game of Thrones. But thank goodness for leakers, or we wouldn't know anything about the game besides what we've seen in the trailer, and the one picture of concept art that From Software actually published. So let's go over a few of these. First, the game is based on the world tree from Norse mythology. And for those who didn't know, you've seen the world tree before, and that's in the MCU. Asgard is one of the nine realms in Norse mythology, home to the gods. Now I actually expect it to be very loosely based, and I also expect From Software to change the meaning of Ragnarok. Now what is Ragnarok? It is actually the start and end cycle for life in the nine realms. It is the cycle of life, the story of birth, destruction, and rebirth. It's about the resetting of worlds, but after the destruction, it will reset everything, creating a new set of gods and a new world. So it continues this cycle for a new Ragnarok. I think the game will start off after this destruction, after the destruction of the Elden Ring or the Tree of Life. And it is said the gameplay is similar to Dark Souls, but with a much bigger map. And remember, this is an RPG with not a static player character. The next part of the leak has to do with the red haired giant we see in the trailer, the one where he catches fire. The leak suggests he was badly wounded in battle and is one of the two main factions. His faction has red hair, and the other is characterized as having white hair. Now these two biggest factions of the game actually came from the same ancestry, but split into two to go on their own. Also, according to the leaker that leaked all this information, did say the world would be dominated by factions, but two of them will be the most important, and I'm actually assuming it's the red hairs and the white hairs. And the game is actually supposed to have its own day and night cycle. Now when it comes to release date, that's a little bit more up in the air. There have been many leaks ever since development started that suggested every year we were going to have Elden Ring, which none of them turned out to be true. But the latest rumors have said the game was actually done in early part of 2020. But given that 2020 was such a shit show, with global pandemics, lockdowns, and quarantines, rumors have stated that it was actually delayed to 2021. And the game is actually just experiencing a polishing as of right now, which we can really just only hope. But just to speculate a little bit, most of the Dark Souls games, and Bloodborne, released in the early part of the year, around the February-March area. And while yes, I do admit I do think the game will come this year, I don't think it will be that early. I actually think it will come probably in the latter half of 2021, if it does come this year at all. Which, yes, I do think it will. But let's really hope that From Software has learned something from CDPR's Cyberpunk 2077 launch, and not launch in a buggy mess. Let's actually hope that these rumors are true, and the game actually is in a polishing phase right now. We can only hope. Now the devs have already stated throughout Elden Ring's development cycle that the game is a natural evolution of the Souls series. will be on a much larger scale when compared to them, like featuring new mechanics with combat and horseback riding. I for one have been excited for Elden Ring ever since it was announced. I've been trying to follow it non-stop. It doesn't help when companies go dark on their projects. That's why I'm actually thankful for a lot of leakers. But I really do like the fact that Elden Ring will not have like populated towns and non-playable characters. It's more of a dungeon crawler with dungeons and the ruins in place of them. Because I really do like a lot of dungeon crawlers. But maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? You guys excited for Elden Ring? 
well, at least as much as I am, I've actually been really following this game, and I can't wait to play it. But as always, put your thoughts in the comments below, I read all of them. And I know this is a little bit shorter video than I usually do, but I just wanted to make a quick video talking about Elden Ring and get your guys' opinion. With that, don't forget to like and subscribe for future Axial GT content. Until next time, I am out of here. You all have a good one.